Hey guys, it's me Pamela from memphisfoodtrotter.blogspot.com and today we have another episode of Pamela Fear Knots. We're definitely doing a lot more of these videos, I think just because I'm trying a lot of different recipes since, you know, we're in quarantine and everything and I just have more time at home to try more recipes. But I think next week I will be doing a quick little breakfast um, kid-friendly recipe for my series Dear Infinite Beyond. Anyways, what we're going to do today is Chinese bao, but it's going to be a quick no yeast version that I saw online. Um, I've tried the yeast version before, it does take all day, and so I'm really looking forward to trying this no yeast one to see if it works as well. It's probably not going to be, of course, as fluffy as, you know, the original yeast version, but we're going to see if it still works and we're going to stuff it with this um, fried salmon and pickled veggies concoction. It's based loosely off of this Japanese video I saw, which I, of course, will put in my description box. But anyways, we're going to start with what needs to take the longest, which is our pickled veggies first. First, I julienned a red bell pepper and half a white onion and put that in a bowl. Then I'm going to make in a separate small bowl my quick pickling dressing or liquid. Two teaspoons of sugar. Mine looks coarse because it's sugar cane sugar, but you of course can use white sugar if that's what you normally use or have on hand. As well as two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce, two teaspoons of mirin, and three fourths cups of rice wine vinegar. Then just mix that in and then eventually you'll pour that over the vegetables. Once you pour that pickling liquid over the vegetables, give that a nice good mix to make sure everything touches that liquid, and then you'll want to cover that and put that in the fridge. The longer it sits in the fridge, the more time the vegetables have to absorb the flavor. However, it does not have to be done overnight. Again, I just put it in for as long as it took for me to finish making my salmon and my bao. So let that hang out in the fridge. So the title of this video is Two Ingredient Bao. The two ingredients are self-raising flour and coconut milk. Now, I realized while I was making this that I was running low on self-raising flour, so I decided to just make my own. I did four cups of all-purpose flour plus six teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. I mixed that in, and for some reason I forgot to film myself putting the can of coconut milk in there, but I did regular coconut milk um it's full fat it wasn't light or fat free or anything and i just poured that in don't worry it's not going to taste like coconut you won't be able to taste that coconut part at all on to the messy parts first i use a spoon and then i use my hands to form the dough before kneading Once your ball or lump of dough has come together, you are going to put it out on parchment paper and start kneading. You'll be using the palm of your hands to be kneading this. And basically you're going to do this until you can feel the texture changed where it's going to be stretchy, it's going to be softer. Um, and so once you're happy with how it feels, then you can just let it rest. While your dough relaxes for a little bit, you're going to work on the filling of the bao, which is going to be fried salmon. So you're going to take some fresh salmon and you're going to cut it into cubes or bite-sized pieces. And you're going to season it with salt and white pepper. I'm going to turn my attention now back to the dough, I'm going to make my individual portions of bao. So I'm just ripping off a piece and rolling around in the palm of my hand. And basically it's going to be the size of a golf ball. Then I'm going to roll it out. And then I'm going to fold it over with a little bit of olive oil so that it doesn't stick together when it steams. And I'm going to put them on cut pieces of parchment paper. I'm only going to do four to five for each batch because my steamer only fits that many. So I'm going to test them out to see how big they are, how much filling will actually fit in them. And then we're going to get ready to steam them. I'm actually going to let the folded pieces of bao rest a little bit on their little individual parchment paper squares while I finish, while I work on the salmon. So I'm going to cover them all with um, cornstarch and this is how we're going to fry them. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use potato starch. But we just want to make sure there's enough cornstarch to cover everything so that everything gets nice and crisp when we fry them. Now we're ready to fry our pieces of salmon. So just make sure you have 
um, a pan that's deep enough for oil and make sure the oil is nice and hot before you start frying things. So do these in batches and then make sure when you take them out to put them on a plate that's lined with paper towels to soak up all that excess grease. You're gonna fill a pot that fits your steamer halfway with water and you're gonna heat it up. Once it's heated up, then you can turn it down to a simmer. Once your water is ready, you're gonna put your steamer on. I actually don't have a steamer. I just kind of make one up. This is a col colander that I have. So I just put the colander on top and then mine fits about four of my little pieces of bow. And then I'm gonna put a lid on and I'm gonna steam them for 10 minutes. So this is what mine look like after 10 minutes. As you steam in batches, make sure you check the level of water because you wanna refill the water periodically. Here is our part of our first batch of little no yeast bao, again made with self-rising flour and coconut milk. And this is our pickled um, onions and red bell pepper, as well, our, well as our fried salmon. I'm gonna take a bite, oops. I think I made my buns too small. I think my next batch, I'm gonna make them a little bigger so we can stuff them better. Everything's falling out. Can you all see that? This is a pretty decent um, bao recipe for having no yeast and being so quick to put together. I would definitely recommend this. Um, I will post up how many um, little bows I was able to make out of these four cups. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. I should have stuck with my gut and just done two cups of flour, but it's all right. My kids love bao, so I'm sure they'll find creative ways to stuff them. All right, guys, the uh, recipes will be in the down description box arrow. Um, and I hope you guys like this video and try this recipe out. Subscribe if you so choose to. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Stay safe, please.